I'm Kira. I'm going to be doing a little bit of yoga with you today. Um, Rona's going to be helping me, who's two weeks old, so we'll add a little bit of baby yoga in as well. So just starting off with hand on baby's tummy and one hand on your tummy and taking some nice deep breaths. Just slowing your breathing down. We're going to breathe for the count of four in and breathe out for the count of four. Repeat that a couple of times and then we'll take arms out to the side, take a big stretch up and then going forwards, reaching over baby, slide hands all the way back in, give babies a little tickle, hello. And again, take a big stretch up and reaching forwards. This is just a nice release for your back and for your shoulders, especially if you've been sitting a lot. One more. And reaching forwards and give babies a little tickle. Okay, keeping one hand on baby, take one hand behind, take a little twist. Again, releasing the back and the shoulders and looking the opposite way. We'll do it a couple of times each way. Repeat that up to five times. Then we we'll take a nice shoulder stretch. Then we we'll go forwards. Take arms up and behind your back. Taking fingertips to the floor. Lift the chest. Remembering to breathe all the time. So we inhale as we go forwards. Exhale as you go up. Inhale as you take your hands behind, and then exhale as you stretch your arms away. Again, repeat that up to about five times. Okay. Just do a little bit of stretch for babies. So we're going to take baby's arms out, encouraging the arms to stretch and open, and take them together. And again, we take them out and together. And out and together. We can take diagonal arms, taking them in opposite directions. Just encouraging baby's arms to stretch and open, and then a couple of circles. Okay, moving on to baby's legs, so just to get a bit of wind release for babies, so we take knees in, and then big stretch out, bringing the legs towards you. Again, knees in, and a big stretch out. You do that a couple of times, and a couple of rocks from side to side. Okay, so leaving babies where they are, if they're okay, we'll come onto hands and knees, having baby underneath you. We're going to do our happy and sad cats. So just a nice stretch for the back, rounding the spine towards the sky, and then taking the chin towards the sky and the tailbone up. We round and release with the back a few times, up to about 10 times. And taking shoulders and hips towards each other, just releasing down the lower back. Okay, we'll do a little bit of core work now. So you take one leg back behind you, take the opposite arm forwards, reaching forwards and back. We start to pull in, so we take the knee and the elbow together, give babies a little tickle, hello. And then reach again. And again, we take it in and reach out so you could do about 10 to 15 on each side just swap in when you're ready reach take it in and reach you can always modify by keeping that back foot down on the floor take the knee in and then when you reach back take that foot down to the floor again okay okay so just one more pose we'll go up into your down dog tucking toes under take the sit bones up have a little stretch there, march the heels. We can come forwards, bring the knees down and take some press ups, giving baby's kiss. We'll do about five. Then taking down dog again. Coming forwards, knees down, take some press ups. So keeping your chest forwards, elbows out. Push against the floor as you come back up. And we just repeat that three to five times. So we'll hold down dog for five breaths. Take your five press ups. 
and then resting in child's pose when you've finished. Take child's pose for as long as you like. So that's the end of our yoga class. Thank you for joining me and Ronan. We'll send another video.